is a place meant to bring happiness, shelter, content, fulfillment. Surrender to time and the elements. And why are certain places just forgotten and become a fortress for tales, folklore, criticism, and decay? In the case of the Las Cantillas handicapped picnic site, it was simply about money. Construction began January 30th, 1972 on a new park in Bouquet Canyon designed especially for handicapped people wishing to recreate in the National Forest. Today, all new parks and trails are designed for wheelchair access starting in 1990. This was conceived and spearheaded by the Newhall Saugus Lions Club in conjunction with the U.S. Forest Service and fundraising turned into a multi-year process and took on several forms including an initial benefit in 1971 at the new Magic Mountain Amusement Park. It was new at that time and there was performances by comedian uh, Phyllis Diller. At that door, I'll take his neck, you take his feet, and we share him all over it. It's all it's a wonderful idea. You will help me out. Sure, no, wonderful. And the band leader, Horace Height. <laughs> whose father-in-law to the future Santa Clarita Mayor Jan Height. Magic Mountain was the place where KISS filmed their movie uh, that was highly criticized at the time. Anyway, uh, I kind of enjoy watching it still. The park was finally built out and turned over to the U.S. Forest Service as planned. Too much time went by and since funding was too little too late, the ongoing vandalism was often just too much to keep up with. With no park ranger station close by, the park ultimately closed and has sat idle for some time. It continues to be vandalized instead of enjoyed to this very day. The Angeles National Forest website shows that it's undergoing rehabilitation, but I don't see any signs of that process. A fantastic idea to simply make people happy was ultimately destroyed by vandals.
Just walking the sidewalks and the bridges of the camp is sad. The camp cries for a rebuild and reinvigorating of ideas. Sadly, the bridges will probably only ever be visited by drunk teenagers and vandals and early morning joggers until it's ultimately leveled. If you like this kind of content, let me know in the comments section. This is more urbex, which is urban exploration. And I like to do that sometimes because even places that don't have some horrible sordid past often are filled with legend. And I believe that it's kind of cool to cover those kinds of things too, the urban decay. So if you like that, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and Hit the like button if you like it. That really helps me a lot. Until next time, take care of each other and keep rock alive.